Questions have been raised by residents and Bemidji City Council members over an ordinance that bans the dressing up of Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. Our Josh Peterson looks at why the City Council is planning to revisit the issue. They are one of the most iconic roadside attractions in the United States. Bemidji statue of Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox find themselves at the center of controversy after being dressed in a giant hockey jersey for Bemidji's Hockey Day Minnesota announcement. When the wild jersey went on, it raised that question of they're not supposed to do that, uh, but I think fundamentally, I think we maybe need to revisit that as a city council and say, is it okay to use Paul and Babe and have the community use Paul and Babe for promotional purposes? For the Hockey Day Minnesota committee, a lot of time and planning went into preparing the jersey for the big announcement. Um, uh, you know, we were fortunate. Again, the city uh, ha was well aware that it was going to happen. We did it in the middle of the night. Satchel Josephson, an industrial tech uh, professor over at BSU, had his class come out and take measurements and make the jersey and then they participated obviously in getting on Paul. Over the years, many items have adorned Paul Bunyan, promoting special events happening in the city. Some of those items still remain on display inside the Tourist Information Center. Each year, thousands of visitors come right here to Paul Bunyan Park to get their photograph taken with the iconic statues. And some of those guests tell us that they wouldn't mind if Paul Bunyan was dressed up for an event. In fact, I would encourage it because, uh, you know, we are fans and, you know, we believe in their hockey and their school football teams and their college football teams. So, no, I'd say do it. Let's, let's, let's have it and give everyone something to look at. At Monday's work session, council members said they were ready to revisit the ordinance that was put in place back in 2014. I'd certainly support uh, going back to what we used to do because we used to do it through the city, through the parks, with a safe crew with a bucket truck and and uh, we need to take care of Paul we need to protect them with conversations talking about repealing or replacing the ordinance either pro or con the main objective is to keep Paul standing tall and proud in Bemidji Josh Peterson Lakeland News the Bemidji City Council will discuss possible changes to the ordinance at next Monday's work session if you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.